And basically, again, what we're talking about is the difference between reaction time and response time. And reaction time is really defined as the time between the onset of a stimulus and the start of the response. That's that processing time that we were talking about. You have to sense it and see it basically or hear it. That's all depends which sense you're using. Then process it and send a signal to a muscle group to initiate action. Movement time is really, like we said, the time to move your hand from point A to point B or time to move your foot from the accelerator to the brake. And Hicks defines um, response time as being the reaction time plus the movement time equals the response time. So in other words, the total time that it takes from beginning to end. And